If I showed you this footage unprompted, you might assume it was Persona 6. It looks like a more polished version of Persona 5, retaining that same great art style, but with a brand new cast of characters. I mean, just look at this little owl guy. He's awesome. However, it's not Persona 6. In fact, it's another Persona 5 game called Persona 5 The Phantom X. I feel like this meme right here is more appropriate than ever. Now, while it looks really exciting, let me share the details of this game with you that might get you a little less excited. So for starters, this is actually being made in China by a team called Black Wing Studio and published by Perfect World. Now, you might be thinking that this is just like a Chinese ripoff or something, but the game is actually fully licensed or in some way in full partnership with Sega and Atlas. In fact, series character designer Shigenori Sojima is actually working on this project and design the characters. But here's the kicker, it's mobile only. Now supposedly a playtest will also commence on PC, so possibly there's some hope there, but for now it seems like it's only going to be on mobile. And as far as the in-game purchases, they mentioned something about it all being in-game items, so I assume things like weapons and armor. With all that said, let me just say this. I think the game actually looks really good. It has a similar but improved art style. The lighting looks a little bit better. The reflections on the ground, especially when they're walking around the streets of Tokyo, look much better. I don't know, it just has a certain crispness to it that elevates it above Persona 5. And as far as the gameplay loop goes, it's exactly like Persona 5. You're gonna have that split between living life as a student and then fighting as a phantom thief. And yes, you are phantom thieves, obviously, as you can see with their different outfits as they go and fight monsters. And I'm glad they're keeping the same gameplay loop because why mess with perfection. And the character designs also look really great. Again, because it's from Sojima-san, obviously they're going to look awesome. Except maybe the main character, he's basically just not Joker. I mean, he even has the red gloves and everything. But all the other ones look really great, especially whoever this character is with the shotgun. Mm, she looks like a baddie. And I love that the animal companion is an owl. That's so cool. You know, in other Persona games, it's either been a dog or a cat. So to have it be something totally out of left field, like an owl is really neat. And also the enemies look appropriately weird like they would in Persona. In fact, one dungeon that they showed so far seems to be baseball themed. I'm gonna assume it's the baseball coach, much like in Persona 5, we had the volleyball coach. And they're doing all kinds of weird attacks, like throwing baseballs, and they've got characters dressed in baseball uniforms. I like that, it's a really cool theme. It's weird though. It feels almost like if Persona 5 was made in some kind of alternate universe. Although, by the way, Joker and the original Phantom Thieves are also in this game somehow. I mean, every time I look at this game, I have to like pinch myself and keep saying like, how is this real? Like, how did this even happen? It's such a weird game to even exist. Again, I probably would be less impressed if it was some kind of obvious fake ripoff, but it's so much more than that. It, again, it's in full collaboration with Atlas and Sega. It looks like a full-fledged Persona game. There's just so much effort into this game. I just just can't believe it. It's so weird to look at. And again, I gotta be honest, I kinda wanna play this. Now, the sad truth is we'll probably never get this game. For now, it's only confirmed for China, although weirdly enough, all the VO in the trailers has been Japanese, so I don't know what that means exactly, but they have not confirmed a release in the West as of yet. And in fact, I almost wonder if releasing this game outside of China and Japan might kind of create a lot of confusion. I wonder if people wouldn't understand that it's like this weird pseudo sequel, like why are there all these new characters? Why is it's still called Persona 5. I wonder what they would rename it if it did come out in the West, because a lot of times when there's games that come out in Japan, like these spin-off games, they rename them to make it more appropriate for the Western audience. So if it ever does come out in the West, I wonder if they'll name it something different. And also, I wonder if releasing it anytime soon would create confusion, because Atlas is probably going to release Persona 6 in the next 12 to 18 months, I would guess. So I don't know if releasing another full-fledged Persona game right before that is a good idea. That all said, though, I would buy a Backbone controller tomorrow if this is the only way I could play it. I mean, I'm a Persona simp, what can I say? But what do you guys think? Do you want to play this game? Does it look interesting? Would you play it if it was a mobile only? Let me know in the comments. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Now, in case you missed my other video that came out today that covered hidden gems with other awesome JRPG YouTubers, be sure you check it out right here. And special thanks to Reset Switch, Tyler Kuzava, and the Miyazaki Man for supporting me over on Patreon. To get exclusive videos and other cool perks, consider supporting me over on patreon.com slash thegamingshelf. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.